Hi boys and girls, so for our next activity, you will need a beach ball. Now, whenever my family and I go to the beach, we like to bring a ball along with us or some toys to play with. Well, you can get a beach ball at the dollar store for just a dollar, or maybe you have one around the house. Something that you can do this summer with a beach ball is you can take a black permanent marker and you can write sight words on it. Like I'm thinking of the word girl and boy and let's see how about the word did and you can just start writing sight words all over your beach ball on your beach ball, you can get a partner, a friend, or a brother, sister, mom, or dad, and you can toss the ball back and forth with each, with each other, and wherever your hand lands, you have to read that word. So if I were tossing ball, even if I had to do it with myself, oh, let's see, my hand landed on this word. Do you see it? On, my other hand landed on this word, this. So you just keep tossing the ball, and whenever your hand lands on a word, you have to read it. They, up, uh, me. And you can practice your sight words. Now, for our next activity with the beach ball, this is a STEM challenge. Take that beach ball. You also need some paper cups or maybe some toilet paper tubes or paper towel rolls, anything that you can find at home to build a tower. And you'll also want some paper plates or maybe some cardstock paper. And here's my challenge. I want to see how tall of a tower you can build where your beach ball can set on top. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to try. I've got some of these green cups here. I think I'm going to make, um, oh, I'm going to put two together and then over here. There really aren't any rules to this except that you just have to build a tower. So I'm putting these two plates and then I think I'm going to, well maybe I'll use these cups. I'm, I'm going to set one here, one over here, and let's see, I think I'll set another plate on top. And I don't know if I want to use these uh, toilet paper tubes or not. Maybe I'll give them a try. I'll stick two on there. Our road's getting really busy. I don't know if you can hear those in the car. The idea is to build a tower. Now you may be wondering, well why Mrs. Stewart are you building two towers? Well that's because I want this to be able to be strong. I want my foundation to be strong so that it can hold the beach ball. So I'm going to test this out. Oh no, it fell! So I'm going to have to start again. Okay, here's try number two. That time I, I didn't make a tower that could hold my beach ball, so I'm going to try again. This time I think I might start how I did, but I'm not gonna use the toilet paper tubes. I don't know if that was the problem. I don't I don't know. Let's see, that seems a little wobbly. I don't know. I think you guys are the expert builders. I can't see wait to see what you guys come up with. Okay, let me see if I can get this the ball to stay this time. for just a minute. Well, that is my challenge for you. I want you to see if you can build a tower and get your beach ball to stay on top of it. And I gotta go catch my beach ball because the wind's blowing it away. Have fun! 